No, 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 no. It's already bad enough that we got the GMO mosquitoes that are causing, I think, they launched this test, these genetically modified mosquitoes in Brazil, and now we have an outbreak of the Zika virus spreading like mad and over 4,000 babies born uh, uh, with serious birth defects, and there's no other way. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Genetically modified mosquitoes? Well, now... UK scientists want to have been allowed to genetically modify human embryos. British scientists have been given the green light to genetically modify human embryos for the first time. The experiment will be carried out by Francis Crick Institute in London and are to take place on embryos in the first seven days after fertilization. Now, scientists hope that the research will provide explanations behind what goes wrong in miscarriages and a deeper understanding of the beginnings of the human life. Now that the Human Fertilization and Embryo Authority has been given permission for these experiments, they could begin in the next few months. Although scientists will be legally allowed to genetically modify human embryos, they will not be allowed to implant those embryos into a woman. Uh, Lead scientist on the project, Dr. Kathy Nyken, said earlier this year she wants to understand what causes common problems such as miscarriages and infertility. We would really like to understand the genes needed for a human embryo to develop successfully into a healthy baby. The reason why it's so important is because miscarriages and infertility are extremely common, but they're not very well understood, she said. Francis uh, Crick Institute director Paul Nurse told BBC News, the research will enhance science understanding of the IVF success. Quote, I am delighted that the HFEA has approved Dr. Nikon's application and Dr. Nikon's proposed research is important for understanding how the human, a healthy human embryo develops and will enhance our understanding of the IVF success rates by looking at the very earliest stage of human development. Folks, I'm going to say right now, this is a dangerous, 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 dangerous place to go. It's directly against the word of God. The Lord plainly said not to mess with the seed. Now, it's not just the seed and, 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 and the messing with the genetics of the seeds that we plant or the mixing of them. But obviously, when you start talking about the seed, of, of human existence, you're, you're dealing with the very beginning of life itself. And uh, by mo- genetically modifying it, the purpose is to figure out why there's miscarriages. Well, I, I think the problem you have here is we can't trust the science. We can't trust those behind the science. In many cases, we believe that there is, without question, and there's tons of proof on this, that there has been a push a, to manipulate the DNA of the human race. We can take that back if you want to all the way into the Bible. When the sons of God looked upon the daughters of men and saw that they were fair and went in among them and had children with them, men of great renown who became giants. In other words, Nephilim. These were the sons of the fallen ones. The DNA was corrupted. Matter of fact, God even said at one point, man has corrupted all flesh. And so he even said he would need to destroy the earth because of it. And would have destroyed all human existence had not Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. We've had giants before and after the flood. We know that Hitler and Himmler and and those that were involved in the, uh, uh, the Nazis in trying to create the perfect human race through backbreeding and through satanic ritual-charged 
uh, impregnation. We understand they were working diligently back in the late 30s and early 40s to create a genetically modified human being or human race. I believe they were trying to bring back the Nephilims themselves. And here we are now uh, under the guise of science messing with the seed of man, the seed of human beginnings, the, the, be, uh, the, the genetically modify. Every time we genetically modify anything, look what's happened with the wheat and, and the barley and the corn that's genetically modified. It does not have the nutrition. It does not have uh, the vitamin supplement. It does not have the value to the human body that it did when in its original state. Why are we continuing to do this? It's because man is working on a way to create a genetically altered being. And that being, they do not plan to have any relationship with God at all. Are you serious? I'll be talking to you more about this. Because this is actually part of the end time prophetic conclusion. The great battle that's just ahead. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Grab a cup of coffee even if you have to and calm down. But it's the honest to God truth. They're going where man has never gone before. Or has it?